threats are global, right? Cyber attacks can come from anywhere. Physical attacks can come from anywhere. Uh, infrastructure challenges. These together create a really unprecedented circumstance in grid management. And these challenges, these risks, these threats are real today and they're items we need to manage right now. When we consider how critical the electric power infrastructure is and how instrumental it is to our economic development, health and welfare overall, it's important that that system is, is very reliable. By embedding energy storage throughout that system, we're taking advantage of the latest technologies to harden that system, make it much more flexible and able to deal with any kinds of threats. Every grid operator around the country has to manage the balance between supply and demand. And consumer utilization of energy doesn't always line up with grid operation conditions. Storage is a vehicle for helping to blend grid conditions and consumer demands. What's occurring on the grid now is gas turbines are being backed off and producing less electricity, but still being left online to provide reliability services. So it would be as if you had to leave your car running and driving around the neighborhood at 20 or 30 miles an hour just in case you had to get in to go to the supermarket. What energy storage does is allows us to find a better way to make sure that power grid is always available. It gives us a buffer and we can store some electricity in this instant when we might have more than we need and we can give it back at a time when we might have less than we need. We were requested by the Public Utilities Commission to see what we as a utility could do to bring online more battery storage into our system as quickly as possible and we did so uh, very successfully brought on about 60 megawatts in less than six months. That's just rocket fast. One of the key things that energy storage does for us is allows us to take full advantage of what we've already built and make the most cost-effective use of the power plants, transmission systems, and distribution systems that we've paid for already. This is the most innovative period in the electric industry that we've seen since Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison were duking it out over direct current or alternating current. Battery storage is new, it's nimble, you can put it in densely populated, very crowded communities. We learned a lot from this pretty intense effort that we've had on deploying and contracting for battery storage here in, in the last couple of years. We have found that batteries are really reliable, fast to deploy, and certainly in situations of a highly urbanized environment, very cost effective. My task is to both help make sure that we have a reliable energy supply that meets people's needs, that doesn't fall apart in those hot summer days, and one where people's basic needs are met at an affordable rate. And these are technologies that will help us to do that in this modern era. This is the next step, the next evolution, where we can help enable our customers to deliver electricity more reliably, more efficiently, more economically to their customers. Everywhere we've done energy storage, it's reduced costs, lowered emissions, and made the system more reliable. And ultimately, the stronger our grid is, the more cost effective it is, it benefits the end consumer. Grid-based clean energy storage is better for our economy, it's better for ratepayers. it keeps communities safer, and it makes our country safer. Energy storage facilities benefit the end user, as well as it's a great job creator. We definitely have the workforce to be able to accomplish this task. The pace of growth is enormous. We're beginning to realize the benefit of energy storage in many markets around the world, and the scale is happening very, very quickly. So we do see that energy storage could be a key part of the technology solution that the United States exports to the rest of the world. We wake up in the morning ready to put on our hard hats and work. The market is innovating, and the costs are coming down, and clean energy storage is here right now.